A radical willingness to risk, sacrifice, suffer is the only authentic ministry. Because Jesus said that you, if you're serious about him, will suffer, not may suffer, will suffer. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. If they called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? It's a given. A servant is not above his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. Did they persecute him? You will be persecuted. They will lay their hands on you, persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before kings and governors for my sake. You will be delivered up even by parents and brothers and relatives and friends. And some of you they will put to death. You will be hated by all for my name's sake. Not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance you will gain your lives. Romans. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Christ. Shall tribulation or persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, sword? And he answers, no. But is the no, will these things separate us from the love of Christ? Because the sovereign Christ doesn't let them happen to us. King, king's kids. Or is the reason they don't separate us from the love of Christ because he ordains that they happen to us and then keeps us in them with him and the answer is given as you know in the next verse as it is written for your sake we are being killed all day long you're not being exposed to the possibility. This is a fact, and it's a fact today, somewhere in the world, now, somebody's perishing for their faith. And it has always been so. We are being killed all day long. We are counted like sheep to be slaughtered. No! In all these things, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. If we are left without divine discipline, we are illegitimate children and not sons. Suffering for the followers of Christ is a sign that God is their father. Norman Anderson, Sir Norman Anderson, supported the International Fellowship of Evangelical Students for 60 years. He was a professor at the University of London, head of the Advanced Legal Institute, and he got old. All three of his children died as young adults. His wife at the end was so demented that she didn't recognize him anymore. And he did one last interview and he was asked this question. When you look back over your life and reflect on the fact that you have lost all your three children and how your wife of 60 years no longer recognizes you. Do you ever ask the question, why me? He answered, no. I've never asked that question. Why me? But I have asked the question, why not me? I'm not promised as a Christian that I will escape the problems encountered by others. We all live in a fallen world. I am, however, promised that in the midst of difficulties, God, through Christ, will be present with me. 
and will give his grace to help me cope with difficulties and bear witness to him.